Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Gone Girl. What do you know about this movie? This was like one point behind Catch Me If You Can on our Patreon poll. Yeah. So we decided to do it. Not only was it very close on the poll, but we've gotten a ton of recommendations. It's David Fincher. We've seen Seven and Fight Club on the channel. I think that's it so far. Yeah. But, but we've seen some of his films, some of your favorites. Yes. I really don't know anything about this. Like, I don't know if it's a murder or like a mystery or like what. I mean, I, I have no idea. I believe it's based on a book, but that's all I got. I don't know <laughs> anything about the plot either um, or any of the actors that are in it. Okay. I know uh, Ben Affleck. Oh, okay. That's all I know. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so going in relatively blind, but heard amazing things about it, or at least telling us to watch it. So I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. When I think of my wife, I picture cracking her lovely skull. Okay. What are you thinking? You sound crazy. That's right? what I'm thinking. So, uh, toxic marriage, I guess? Yeah. I wonder if we're going to be jumping around in time a lot. It's telling us what day we're on. Yeah. I'm so crazy, stupid, happy. Were we in 2010? Was it five years ago, maybe? Yeah. What's your name? Amy. Who are you? Who are you? Dang, they hit it off immediately. So you write for a men's magazine. Out of bullshit. Never with you. It's hard to believe you. No bullshit. I like the cinematography a lot. <laughs> Treasure hunts? You mean the forced march designed to prove asshole her husband is? Wow. Damn, so uh, things really changed, huh? What's the gift for five? Wood. There's no good gift for wood. Hey buddy, what are you doing out here? Did someone come in or is this part of the uh, glue thing for their anniversary? I don't know. I just keep thinking of Gone Girl. Right. Like, so like she's gone. Yeah. It's not good. I came home to this. Now, I don't panic easily, but it's weird. Mind if we look around? Please. It doesn't seem very panicked. No. What do you do now for work? My sister Margo and I own the bar downtown. Oh, that's his sister? I mean, I'm immediately suspicious of him. He doesn't seem very concerned. We saw him the morning of. He kind of was like zoning out in the middle of the street. Oh. Blood. Yeah. Did he miss a spot? There's a couple spots in the kitchen. Your wife is amazing, Amy? Yeah, she is. Not so amazing anymore. Amazing fucking Amy is getting fucking married. It's two years after they met? When I was 10, I quit cello. In the next book, Amazing Amy became a prodigy. You play volleyball? I got caught freshman year. She made varsity. So she likes to like fantasize about being better. I love your parents, but they really can be assholes. I'm liking this a lot so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why I have my brownstone. Your parents literally plagiarized your childhood. No, they improved upon it. Wait, so her parents wrote the book? Yeah, I think it's just based on her. Okay, I assume she was the author. Yeah. It's my understanding you are not married. Correct. Amazing Amy has always been one step ahead of me. Oh, so she's not even... Engaged or getting married? She, yeah. was, she was talking about the book? You had the distinct pleasure of dating Nick Dunn for how long? Two magical years. Is he about to propose? I think so. My colleagues tell me that you are not yet married. Isn't it time we fix that? Nice. Oh, wow, what a jump. It's crazy how they clearly love each other so much and however much time later they fucking hate each other. Yeah. Or at least he hates her. We're gonna hold a press conference tomorrow. We're have a press conference. All of a sudden I feel like I'm in a Law and Order episode. Making jokes. You wanna wait and call a lawyer? Absolutely not. So what does Amy do most days? She's a voracious reader, so she's always got a book in her hand. That's it? Amy got friends we can talk to? No, not really. No friends? Amy's blood type. God, I don't know. I have to look it up at the house. You don't know what she does all day, and you don't know your wife's blood type. Where are her folks? Yeah, I haven't talked to them. Call them, please, Nick, now. I'm surprised he didn't call them before he called the police. Or, like, while he was waiting for the police. He's, like, so level zero. Dad? This is my father. What's going on? Really? What is your dad doing here? Stupid, dumb, ugly bitch. Dad, stop. It's like a burner phone? 
Yeah, and it's... Why'd he pull that out of there? I'll get your fucking hands off. Thanks. Man, if he is not a killer, I'm going to be so fucking blown away <laughs> if he's just a normal, depressed dude in a <laughs> shitty marriage. Marriage is hard work and compromise and more work. She doesn't seem very stuck up and complicated. Two years, it's just good. So this is the second year scavenger hunt? I guess so. Year two, cotton. Sex was too good for ordinary. <laughs> Same color and everything. They really seem like the perfect couple. Yeah, he's definitely suspicious with that phone. She always attracts drama. You can say it. Just because I don't like to be around Amy doesn't mean I don't care about her. Yeah, she seems more upset, and she clearly doesn't even like her. When we see flashbacks, is that told through Amy's perspective? Yeah, from her diary. Okay. So maybe it's never been good? So maybe it's never been good, yeah. Amy's best friend. You said she has no friends. Definitely blood spatter you saw in the kitchen. House is rented in her name. Credit cards on bill, all in her name. I mean, she's rich. It's bars in her name. Oh. We have our first clue. Oh, oh man. so now the scavenger hunt. One day gone? Oh, I like that. Also was thinking if she is like delusional that this is all part of the scavenger hunt. Yeah. We never should have moved back here. We didn't have a lot of choice. We will find Amy together. I wonder if they'll show him clue one. Mm, ask him what it means. My wife disappeared from our home on the morning of July 5th. We just want her back. We're establishing a volunteer headquarters at the Drury Lodge. Damn, that was fast. Actually, the difference in his plea versus the, the parents. Parent, yeah. Smiling? <laughs> this is so strange. Do you know about Desi Collings? Yeah, I know all about Desi Collins. He was obsessed. Broke up with him. He got very physical. She filed charges. I didn't know this. Eight years is close to them, right? Yeah. I think they've been together for seven. It'll help me track Amy's movements before she disappears. Of course. Okay. Yeah. I know this one. <laughs> it's like the first, like, happiness I've seen. His office. Sweet, loving spouse. Randy professor, naughty student. Are those even Amy's underwear? So you do know. Could this be um, his parents? Like his mom recently passed away, but he kept the house going. Oh. Under my father's name, William Dunn. Oh, clue three. You hiding oh, it? Oh yeah, he's hiding that clue. Fancy meeting you here. At this brown house. I thought maybe this was a little brown house. Nope, still blue. Dude, you are so suspicious. The fact that he doesn't want to share the clues with them. Yeah. Where you keep goodies for anniversary five. So, so open the door, door and look alive. Five is wood. Want to test your marriage? Add one recession, subtract two jobs. Okay. I think I'm going to be laid off. If it happens, we'll deal with it. I mean, uh, money always causes problems. My parents' publisher dropped them and they're in debt up to their ears. Oh, fuck. And they need to borrow from my trust fund. Almost a million. Everything else is just background noise. <laughs> Damn, from rich to poor, just like that. More games? Yeah, I just want to shoot some folks. What's the laptop for? Controlling bitch. I'm not that person. I'm your wife. Damn, so things really went south naturally just because of the money. So maybe she's not delusional. Yeah, and it doesn't seem on her side. Yeah, she's trying to stay very like nice, whereas he's deteriorated real quick. This has no purpose. There's a ton of people that showed up. I mean, those books, I guess, have a huge following. A lot of amazing Amy fans. Okay. A lot of judgmental eyes. See that guy in the glasses before? Oh. Noel Hawthorne, Amy's best friend. I've never heard the name Noel Hawthorne. Well, you really don't like him, do you? What's to like? Ooh, and he's gone. The cops know that that's the stalker guy or whatever. Go ahead, please delete that picture. You just press me. What is wrong with you? I will share it with whomever I please. What the? I mean, that's not a good look for him at all. No, not at all. It looked like you were having fun. All I'm trying to do is be nice. You're right. 
and I'm sorry. Damn, okay. <laughs> it was kind of a weird thing to be upset about. Taking the photo? Do you think she saw that? Or? No, I don't think she saw that. I think it was just him going in and hugging people and... If she saw the photo, okay, maybe. Did you find any golf clubs real fancy? How big is that TV? It's not 65 inch. No, it's nowhere near that. So a bunch of new stuff is being purchased, but not in the house. Now y'all are in there. Would you please escort Miss Hawthorne and her children back out to the street? Talk to her. What the fuck? Now I'm suspicious of the cops. Like, why won't they talk to someone about- Well, no, I think they did speak with her. Cause she was like, oh, the one with the triplets. Have you told me everything? You seem like off. I am off. All I want is to come over here and not be judged. We do that? Yeah, but you were off before Amy went missing. So here's a strange new sentence. I am a Missourian. Oh, so this is when they moved to the place that they're at now. Yeah, I assume because they probably couldn't afford to live in New York anymore. Stage four breast cancer. So we moved to Missouri. I just wish he'd ask. I mean, you gave away a million dollars without talking to your husband, so he moved you to Missouri. Nick is happy to be home, but I don't know if he's happy I'm with him. I feel like something he loaded by mistake. Damn. But this is still in her name too. Okay, we finally get to see the mysterious burner phone. Oh, so he's having an affair. Can you at least tell me you love me? I do love you, but we have to be really careful right now. I assume the red panties are hers? Could be. Did you, by any chance, tell anybody anything about us? If he gets caught with her, he's gonna move up on that suspect list. I mean, he's already probably number one. We moved to Missouri to save Maureen. Turns out we couldn't. Lost a job, lost his money, lost his mom. Last of my trust fund to buy him a bar. So far, it's just costing money. Oh shit. Nick uses me for sex when he wants. Otherwise, I don't exist. Ooh. Damn. Maybe it's time. Now is literally the worst time. Well, it'll be a new start for us. You really want to be the couple that has a baby to save their marriage? Save? Yeah. You're a fucking coward. Oh. I am frightened of my own husband. What a turn. Man, she tried to take care of your mom. She financially supports everything you do. Damn, this place is packed with people. You seen this girl around here? She wanted a gun. She seemed really desperate. She's afraid of her husband. For Valentine's Day, I thought I'd buy a gun. Nick wants me gone, but he won't ask for a divorce. The bitch with the prenup. So he can't leave you. And I really think Nick would hurt me. He already he did. Already, yeah. I'd sleep better with a gun. Also, he's giant. Yeah, Ben Affleck is huge. Batman. I still think it's crazy, like, unless we don't have the full story yet, which we probably don't, she didn't do anything for him to start hating her. Like, it seems like he's the one who changed everything about himself so far. He changed a lot, but I mean, I guess it started when the money was gone. Oh, it's light. Yeah, right? Gotta send her out in the dark. You fucking idiot. Oh. How old is she? In her early 20s. <laughs> so 20? How long? A year and a half. You lied to me for over a year? A year and a half? So like six months after they moved here? It's one of my students. Oof. I was scared for you before and now I'm fucking petrified. Yeah. Cable news is all over your shit. His wife's nowhere to be found and here's Nick Dunn for you flirting. Oh, of course that made it out. Just because this guy isn't walking around weeping, that doesn't mean that he's not Tanner, hurting. the hallmark of a sociopath. Tanner, Go home, Nick. Ooh. Yeah, sister's over your shit. Took it for evidence. Going through your trash. Luminol lit up the kitchen like 4th of July. It is Amy's type B and we should have DNA soon. Thoughts on a weapon? Maybe a club? Damn, I mean the movie starts with him saying he wants to smash her head open. For someone who had uh, no friends, quite a few people here. My wife disappeared three days ago. I had nothing to do with the disappearance of my wife. Amy is my soulmate. I love you, Amy. What did you do to your pregnant wife? Ooh. Oh, she was pregnant? Man, they really should have talked to that fucking neighbor. Nothing to hide, huh? Got out of there real quick. You look like pretty good friends to me. Wow. And yet, they remained upright. No way. How was your marriage, Nick? What do you and your wife argue about? Oh, money. Lack thereof. Damn, they're going in hard. $117,000 in credit card debt. What? I didn't buy any of this stuff. You bumped up Amy's life insurance to $1.2 Dude. She told me to! Whoa. 
Why do I like kind of believe that he didn't purchase that stuff? I could believe it. I don't want to talk to you again, ever, without a lawyer. Lowering up. I mean, I definitely think the mystery is much more complex than him just killing her. Yeah. But... I mean, it doesn't look good for him at all. But there are, like, glimpses of, like... Him, it, like, finding out. Yeah. Like, that seemed like a normal response to finding out that you were in $117,000 worth of debt. No idea she was pregnant. I was... Girlfriend. Yep. The truth is, Amy didn't want kids. No, it ain't. Fucking talk to me. Yeah, she's about the only person that you, you have. That she didn't want kids because she didn't want me to. I went to a fertility clinic. It didn't work. I did my part. I don't believe that. No, we saw her ask. A year ago, Amy being pregnant would have been the best thing ever. So maybe he wanted the baby. It wasn't working out. Then obviously things kept deteriorating. A letter from Desi. Nick, why have you kept this stuff? I don't know, go. Maybe I hate her. You for sure do. I love you no matter what, but you need to tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> Did you kill your wife? Yeah, I don't remember this last clue. He couldn't figure it out. Wife is missing, why come here? Yeah, you said wood, right? Yeah, because you said year five, which was a wood. Gift. Furnace. Are we about to see a body? I mean, if there's something in there, it won't be a body. You figured it out too slow. Man, she figured out this clue without the clue. Oh, oh it's the journal. This man of mine may kill me. Okay, so that's just the journal, but this is the clue. Oh, it's all the stuff. All the stuff on that list. Oh my God. That ended like a cliffhanger for it. I'm so much happier now that I'm dead. Oh! She literally left. Soon to be presumed dead. Gone. All the blood she spilled. Cheating, oblivious husband will go to prison for my murder. <laughs> Took from me until I no longer existed. Let the punishment fit the crime. No way. A convincing murderer, you have to have discipline. That's what she did all day. Planned her fucking death. You befriend a local idiot. <laughs> he wasn't lying about them. Cram her with stories about your husband's violent temper. Create some money troubles. Bump up your life insurance. <laughs> oh my God. America loves pregnant women. Faking a pregnancy. Drain your toilet. Fake a pregnancy? Pregnant idiot into your home, ply her with lemonade. Steal her urine? Steal pregnant idiot's urine. You psycho. Stage oh. your crime scene. Shouldn't have fixed it. Just enough mistakes. Oh, no. You did it perfectly. Never mind. A lot. A lot, a lot. This is amazing. You need to clean poorly, like he would. <laughs> and leave a little something behind. A fire in July. The murder weapon? You need a diary. Minimum 300 entries. On <gasps> the diary is fake? Early days. Those are true. And they're crucial. Okay, they're still true. After that, you invent the abuse, the fear, the threat of violence. So did that he was do it nothing? Real? Make sure the cops will find it. You brilliant lady. If I get everything right, the world will hate Nick. Nick Dunn dumped his beloved like garbage. You're still gonna kill yourself? Well, she said when she's ready. Nick loved a girl I was pretending to be. Cool girl. But I made him smarter. I inspired him to rise to my level. This is so insane. And found himself a newer, younger, Change the sheets. bouncier, cool girl. Oh, she knew about the affair? He doesn't get to win. Wow, so I have to like go back in my mind and figure out what actually happened and what didn't. Obviously everything in the journal was kind of fake, but she said some stories were true. Well, I think only the good was true in the beginning. Grown-ups pay. What are you doing? Oh, I need 20 seconds where you don't judge me, interrupt me, or get angry. Man, so this second half of this movie is gonna be like him trying to prove his innocence. Yeah. Where do you store goodies for anniversary five? Woodshed. Yeah, my woodshed. Fucking bitch. I guess we should have trusted the sister if the sister hated her all along. She's framing me for her murder. You married a complete psychopath. She knew exactly what I would do and I fucking did it. Wow. Hopefully she's not already dead because the only way he's going to be okay is if they find her alive. 
Does Missouri have the death penalty? Uh-oh. Kill self question mark. So it's always the fifth? Oh, when is she gonna stage killing herself, I guess? Or maybe not. No, I think she's actually gonna do it. It's been weeks since I had anyone decent next door. I don't know how decent I feel. What an accent she has now. So he's on day three, right? Yeah, eh, might be past that now. Day four maybe or something like that. And this is day two for her? Yeah. <laughs> Man, she can just anonymously tip to where her body is. Nancy. Your name's Nancy. Say, uh, we have the same taste in men. I went to the bar where he works to surprise him. This girl had no business being in the bar. Oh, is this real? I think so. He leaned in. I think this is the first night she started realizing she's gonna frame her husband. <laughs> she found out about the affair. <laughs> that is the most disgusting thing I ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. She might be on your side with this whole setup. What time are we? Oh, we're still after. Man, ads in the freaking airport. It's in New York. Mr. Bolton. Oh. Super Terrible. lawyer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Doesn't believe him. You. Laughing me out of the building? No, are you kidding me? I'm in. <laughs> this is why I have a $100,000 retainer. I win the unwinnable cases. We'll need to realign the public's perception of Amy. There has to be someone out there that she screwed with in uh, the past. It's a New York guy. You gotta tear down amazing Amy. Ex-classmate, Desi, Collins. Neil Patrick Harris. You go talk to Tom, you know, draw up the contract. Seems like an interesting choice to go with this guy when like he has a reputation for defending husband killers. Yeah. I mean, wife killers, wife killing husbands. <laughs> Guilty husbands. Yeah. But maybe he wins a lot. Did you do it? Did you do it? Oh. It was rough, but she was screaming for it. Ligature marks on her wrist and you know, my semen. Headboards in my bed, one on each side. The ties you wouldn't wear. I do know your wife. Oh, fuck. Thanks for being on the show, Noel. The dumb neighbor. So nurturing. Oh, I love if just once someone trouble. was like, Amy she was, was a real rag. <laughs> Seems like a rich <laughs> bitch to me. Why was that, Noella? No way. I was afraid of her killing her, but I guess spitting. Tanner's retainer is $100,000. I'm approved for a second mortgage on the house. Damn. We will go from there. Thank you. What a sister. Missouri has the death penalty. She's so happy. What earth is she calling? I'd like to report some strange activity near the woodshed on the property of one Margot Dunn. Oh, the next step. I'm still not getting her calendar very well. Obviously she planned it out, but I'm just curious when she plans on killing herself. I really want them to catch her, <laughs> but she's so smart. She might just get away with this. You came all this way to tell me this? Well, I thought there might be another side to this story. No? Mr. Collins. It was not the right approach. Yeah, he had better luck with the first guy. So his bar? Yeah. Maybe they're getting some good business. He's gonna need that money. He doesn't even know about the journal. Why'd he go to his dad's house to burn it? Well, why didn't he make sure it actually burned? God, thank God she's suspicious. The simplest answer is often the correct one. If she hated Nick just as much as he did, he would have been fucked already. For sure. Treasure hunt is critical. Taking us on a tour of my infidelities. What is at your father's house, Nick? I honestly have no idea. Yeah. It's too late. Whatever they found, I think it's safe to assume that it's very bad. <laughs> we need to tell the cops about Andy. Oh, really? They'll go after Margo. She's your accomplice. She helped you hide the evidence. In all likelihood, she knows that you killed Amy. Oh, wow. I mean, she already gave the tip to the cops for the woodshed. I've got two ex-Secret Service guys that are really good. I'll put them on it. But where do they start, Nick? I have no idea. Dude, you better start knowing something. I was gonna kill myself. Can you believe that? I'm not the asshole. Good, stay alive. Stay alive so they can find you. No! Uh-oh. I thought you said you were broke. It's mostly singles. You need to get out of here. Yeah. Who's right right in your room? Your friend? Getting paranoid? She's losing it. She might make a mistake. Guy admitting that he's a gigantic asshole on television. People empathize with that. Trained monkey. A trained monkey who doesn't get lethal injection. That's a good monkey. Now you do this and you will reach millions of those people. Maybe I only need to reach one. Who's She's the... watching. Oh yeah. I was like, who's the one? <laughs> Amy. Hello? Hey, buddy. One minute. Is 
say Betty? Her name was Nancy. Yeah, right? Well, let us come in and say goodbye. I'll come by before. Let us give you a hand. You're gonna rob her? Oh, maybe. I didn't even think of that. Where is the money, sweetheart? <gasps> oh! Your glasses are fake. You say her name's Nancy, but you don't even answer to it half the time. Right? They just said Betty. I don't think you've ever really been hit before. No! Oh! They saw right oh, through her. Oh, shit. Next place, be more careful, okay? Oh my god, she lost. That's everything, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Can't sleep here. I mean, she didn't need that much money when she was planning on killing herself. But if she wants to stay alive now, now she's kind of fucked. She has nowhere to go. The doofus husband thing, Nick. Everything I do is wrong. I know what men are supposed to do in general. <laughs> God, that one. I hope this goes well for him. <gasps> oh! This is who she called? But now someone knows she's alive. I threatened to leave. And he said he'd find me and he'd kill me. But he'll protect her and keep her lie without even knowing it. I'm setting you up at my lake house. It's utterly secluded. What the fuck? The next tip? Oh my god. Oh, Andy. Oh. They were gonna try to get ahead of this. Deeply ashamed of having been romantically involved with a married man. Oh, how is this gonna shake everything up? It's just got very exciting. We need a moment. <laughs> oh, fuck. They were just about to go over this. He's going to eat you alive. Just trust me. You better have something good, Nick. I don't know about this. Just silence. Come on, Nick. Knock this out of the park. Thank you. Oh man, a lot of judgmental female eyes. Yeah, I can't believe how fucking good you are. Amy brings out the best in me. What? Why didn't we get to see that? Maybe we'll get to see it when his wife gets to see it on TV. When Sharon airs tomorrow, we'll be looking at oh, all okay. you. But how are they going to edit this shit, you know? Yeah, maybe they had a clause or something like that that they get to like review the final edit or something. Or else they just chop it up like, I killed my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself at home. Wine cellars downstairs. The floors are heated. Just dial to your liking. Man, what a fucking place. The bed is Savoie. You'll never get a better sleep. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is just what I need. I think Amy picked the wrong guy. I was kind of thinking that. <laughs> don't want you to worry for one moment. There are cameras everywhere. Anyone will be recorded. Like Amy already was? I am not letting you get away again. Ooh. She actually gonna put herself into a real dangerous situation here? Yeah, he might keep her locked up. Everyone thinks she's dead. Good morning. <gasps> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> the sooner you look like yourself, the sooner you'll feel like yourself. Looking forward to my reunion with Amy Elliott. Uh-oh. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if she ended up just a prisoner for the rest of her life, locked up in this guy's house. No one ever finds her. I did not kill my wife. I was a bad husband to a great wife. Basically means that I was a con artist. Oh. He believes his wife is still alive. She is still alive. Amy, I love you. And I've taken myself to the woodshed for the way that I've treated you. Oh. I love you. Oh, he did the... Did she believe it? I don't think she gets to leave anyways. Oh my God, you fucking killed it. They hated me. Now they love me. With a candor and an honesty. Uh-oh. She's calling in another tip. Are they going to the woodshed? Margo done. This is a search warrant. Did they move that shit? Probably not. None of this was put here by me. Look at the makings of a real man cave. Hey, you can't do that. Oh, what? They're arresting her? They warned him. It's time to move on. What can I do to help? What? 20 years, you have kept me dangling. I'm not gonna force myself on you. I understand what you're saying, Dizzy. I think she's fucked. I just want you to be you again. Yeah, he's really obsessed with the old you. Without a body, without a murder weapon, their only hope is a confession. Uh oh. There is a murder weapon. But they haven't found it, I don't think. But she can tip them whenever she wants. True. Never seen that before in my life. It's Amy's diary. There it is. He brushes the sugar off my lips so he can taste me. Yeah, that's true. She wanted to get pregnant, you assaulted her. I never touched her. This man may kill me. It's kind of a convenient end note. <laughs> he's over this. Oh, that's oh, the murder weapon! Oh shit! She tipped them. Nicholas Dunn, you're under arrest wait, for the wait, murder of your wife, Amy word. Elliott what Dunn. What about my son? Nick! Oh fuck, you're in trouble, Nick. I think Amy's in trouble too. 21 days? More coffee? 
I'd love it. Well, she's trying to escape. Yeah. I really have to get going. I don't know if she's gonna escape or just kill him. Oh, she's setting him up on video. Blood, all messed up. She's gonna frame him for the kidnapping. That gave me hardcore chills. That was terrifying. She's so crazy. Oh my God. You're out on bond. Relax at home while we prep for trial. They need to get to Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, she's hurting her wrist. This is exactly what she did to that other guy. Yep. Okay, that's a way to simulate assault. Is he not gonna notice? Well, she needs to have sex with him. Yep, she needs the semen. Maybe he'll have uh, performance anxiety. I want it. It's music. She's no rush, just do it. She doesn't want to do this with you. She just needs the evidence. Harder. <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh! Oh my god! Holy crap! That is the most disturbing death. Oh, it just flips her hair. Wow. So will they maybe just clear him? clear him? Obviously, because if he kidnapped her, she gets to just come home. <gasps> She's just home? You fucking bitch. <laughs> Play it up. This is psycho. A semen present. We'll make sure it's a match. What do you think? Kidnapping. The story's insane. And he just saw him. Yeah. The handle to a Punch and Judy puppet. And how did Desi have that handle? It must have fallen off. Keep pushing. And there were cameras everywhere. Please find the tapes. How did she manage to get a hold of a box cutter? He had her tied up the whole time. Good question. He has a temper. We had money problems. But I love him. Then why did you try to buy a gun? I feel myself fading. <laughs> I'd be tied. Still spread eagle. Ms. Dunn. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel safe? Going home with your husband. He shouldn't feel safe. Oh, that smile. Miracle on the Mississippi. Man, he won a case without having to do anything. <laughs> what on earth is gonna happen? Go back to their perfect life. No, I was just telling you what you wanted to hear. That's how well you know me. Take off your clothes. I need to make sure you're not wearing a wire. Oh no. I'm leaving. Sleep on it. No, she's going to kill you in your sleep. Was there ever a baby? There can be. <laughs> he did want the baby. When two people love each other and can't make that work, that's the real tragedy. Kiss my cheek. <laughs> Kiss my cheek. Everything's fake. You got a book deal, lifetime movie, you franchise the bar. You may want to thank her. Wow. Just don't piss her off. That's good advice. Five weeks? Couldn't sleep. Let me talk you back in. I would never, ever hurt you. I need you to do your part. I would be so afraid. I need you to admit that you got the credit cards, hid all that stuff, and that you pushed me to feel safe. You feel safe? I know exactly what to say. What could he possibly say? What is it? It's for you. Oh, is it the box cutter? <laughs> Oh, no. But how? I didn't touch you. You didn't need to. At notice of disposal. Notice? Yes. I want a paternity test. No, it's Neil Patrick Harris's. You can teach those people to hate me all you want. I won't have to teach your child to hate you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was real. I'm not a quitter. I've killed for you. Who else can say that? <laughs> all we did was resent each other and try to control each other. That's marriage. This is a psycho marriage. I do not think that baby is his. I mean, if she went to the clinic. Yeah, I mean, she could have kept his semen this whole time. She's crazy enough. I can't watch you play house with that thing for the next 18 years. I can't just walk away. Oh, trapped him with the baby, my child. I'm not gonna leave it. You wanna stay with her? Yeah, you kinda like it. I need you with me on this. I was with you before we were even born. We're partners in crime. <laughs> and? Parents. We're gonna be parents. What are you thinking? Oh shit. What have we done to each other? What will we do? 
kill each other. So the beginning of the movie was actually the end of the movie. Holy crap. All right. That was Gone Girl. What'd you think? I honestly think that might be one of the best movies we've watched on the channel. Yeah? You liked it that much? Yeah. That was so good. I am like blown away that they could continue to do as many twists as they did. Oh, for sure. I mean, the directions that this story went were insane. Yeah. They did such a good job, obviously, in the beginning, like making Nick out to be just awful and very suspicious. Yeah, I mean, he had every stereotypical thing go wrong for it to be like, oh, for sure, it was the husband. We were skeptical. Yes. So I, I pat on the back for us for that. I was gonna say, there were small moments that we like had glimpses of it and we just didn't run with it. You brought up the fact that you were like, wait a minute, are these flashbacks from Amy's perspective or from Nick's? Yeah, that was the biggest clue that I got. Right, and then I think I brought something up about like, oh, maybe it's part of the game of the- A scavenger yes. hunt, right? That possibly you had the idea that she was still alive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're operating thinking that she's dead. So, and then we started questioning, wait a second, the information that we're getting is very fishy from the past and you know what, she actually might be alive and this is just her psycho, you know, elaborate way of playing with him. And right. essentially it was. It wasn't about him finding her alive at least, but it was about punishing him. She found out about the affair and that was it. She planned this elaborate framing. But this is her. So like to think of like, oh, the affair. And then she started kind of going crazy to think of ways to get back at her husband. like. She has been this person her whole life. So there were still a few clues with that. Primarily for me, it was like the, the sister. The fact that the sister fucking hated her. That's true. She obviously is the closest thing that Nick has, closest person, and she just didn't like her. Yeah. But then you also think about the mother supposedly loved her. Yeah. So it's hard and you know, her parents were a lot. They were very wealthy. They profited off of- Her existence. Yeah, but not even like what they wished of her existence. Yeah. So she was probably kind of fucked up from a young age. She was like born into this like fantasized world. Yeah. And she fucked up that one guy that he met in the bar with that elaborate story. Pretty yep. much did the exact same thing, except included murder this time to Neil Patrick Harris. But I mean, it was just amazing because it would give you everything you needed to go in this direction. And then it would be like, wait a second, let's go over here. That whole reveal, it felt like the cliffhanger of like a TV episode. It like faded to black. And then it went to Amy's description of every single event from the start to the end. Yeah. So it was just perfect right in the middle of the movie, just shift everything and then have a completely different movie for the second half. Yeah, it really was like two different films. We also had everything going on with the detective and officer, so Rhonda. It's like she believed Nick, but there was so much evidence just like mounting against him. But honestly, like you said, if she had felt anything like James, the other police officer felt, right. Dude would have been arrested long ago. Oh yeah, for sure. It was great because I mean, you had every aspect. You had Nick trying to figure it out. You had Amy over here in this scenario where she has a planned out calendar map of like how I'm gonna fuck with him each day, what tip I'm gonna do, when I'm gonna kill myself. You had the detectives going through everything and that just kept giving you more insight and clues. Then you had the whole mystery of like the scavenger hunt added into it. I mean, there was just jam packed. You had the affair that you're sneaking around. Like this movie had a thousand different things and it's so difficult to kind of predict that you would go in some of these directions. I think the biggest shock for me was Amy being at that lake house. Yes. It was interesting because we obviously got the first story of the guy that she accused of assaulting her. And we know, at least from his side of the story, that it was fake. Right. I think it's safe to say that it was fake. But then you have this whole Desi situation. She's considering him like a stalker. She got a restraining order, all of those things. So you kind of are going in with this mindset that like, oh, this is probably fake too, for whatever reason. This was very early though, Desi. Like this, this was 
was like college. Yeah. And her parents were involved. It was kind of hard to tell, but as soon as she called him and he showed up there, it was like, oh shit. And then for him to bring up like, you know, you've been stringing me along for eight years or whatever. It started to give vibes that she was fucked. And I guess yeah. technically that started when those two people at like the motel or whatever. Oh yeah. Where they just saw right through all of her bullshit. It's really interesting that like, there's so many people that she tricks and fakes but I feel like she lived in this like higher class world yeah. that she was like kind of being the criminal in. And then she goes into this situation where people have kind of been fucked their whole lives and they just saw through her bullshit. And she was surrounded by people that are more desperate than in this, like, in her New York life or even in the Missouri life. Right. She was playing a game. This was their real life. And they were just like, your hair is fake. Your accent is fake. Your name is fake. Give us your fucking money. <laughs> that was such an intense scene. And it really was like, what is she going to do? She literally has no money. And it really was going well for her there. She had the whole calendar. She was planting things. She decided to remove like the kill date yeah. um, from the calendar, all of it. It was going very well for her. And that like derailed everything for her to have no money, which is crazy because money really is like the epitome of so many of the issues in this. Yeah. You see these stories of like, oh, Oh, wow they actually were very happy in this perfect couple and i guess it really was just the money and then the mom dying and losing your jobs and this perfect marriage did just naturally transition into this shit marriage and then obviously the affair and everything it's crazy to think of how this story could have turned out with just a few little changes if she didn't get fucked by those two people and end up at neil patrick harris's house maybe she would have stayed in that area and nick's lawyer the cia guys or whatever maybe they would have tracked her down or something they absolutely could have found her or they couldn't have and nick could have gotten the death penalty yeah i mean because she has that whole line at the end of like I killed someone for you, but I think she killed someone for herself. Like she was done playing this game with Neil Patrick Harris, especially the way that he was acting. Yeah. So she's like, eh, I'm going home now. So I'm going to stop this game and go back to my other one. Right. And at that point, she's very closely watching everything. And you could see the moment that it turned in her mind when she's watching that interview that Nick did. Yeah. And the fact that he even was like, of course, I was saying what you wanted to hear. And she's like, but you know. You know that's what I wanted to hear. I'm like, you are freaking <laughs> insane. They're an insane couple. I mean, she is far more insane, but he, I think, likes it. I think uh, there's something in there. I mean, obviously, that's what his sister said. Yeah. Because he could tell the truth. He could get away. I don't know if she would ever face justice. You know, she might go free. She's clearly had the evidence to support that, but he doesn't have to be there. And there's a good chance that that baby's not even his. I don't know, I, he could play that differently. And the way that this ends, she's just right back there with her head in his lap and just thinking about, man, I'm gonna bash her head in one day. Going through and seeing like what, all the different ways the story was playing out, it was crazy just to follow it because some of it wasn't real. Yeah. You know, different perspectives of what's happening. So it made for just such a wild story to watch play out. It was an amazing mystery because you didn't fully know exactly what was real and what was not. Mm -hmm. You were close. It was kind of like that truth situation with the cops where they're going through the journal. He's like, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's false. That kind of existed throughout the movie. And mm -hmm. even Nick had this line where he was like, they hate me one second. They love me the next. Like I'm a hero. I'm a villain. Like the whole story was just this direction, that direction, you're up, you're down. The story starts out with you really thinking it's him. Then you start getting real suspicious. Then it's going to be her. And now you're in a situation where it's like, oh my God, can he catch her in time before he gets, you know, too far into being proved guilty and dies. And then you're like, oh my God, is she gonna get fucked? Like she has no money left. I think she might be a captive. There's just insanity throughout this movie. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough good things to say about it. Like every part of it. And we talked even briefly about the cinematography, the music, there was like definitely like music cues in it that were super scary. Yeah, the music was amazing. Performances were incredible. Mm -hmm. And there was just so many memorable scenes. Mm -hmm. The one that God is fucking frightening is her having sex with Neil Patrick Harris as his blood is just spilling out everywhere. That was an insane scene. That was absolutely disturbing. Or even like her prep work to get into that, yeah. like especially for the camera where she yeah. put like wine on herself. Yeah. Jeez. 
is hardcore. She's absolutely insane. And the lengths that she was going to, just for all of it, whether it be for Nick, for Desi, whatever it was, the lengths that she was going to and she was willing to go to. I mean, the scene where she hits herself in the face with that hammer. Yeah. All of it is just like, what are you not willing to do at this point? I mean, she literally was going to off herself. It was just wild. <laughs> like, it is such an amazing movie. So clear why everyone loves this movie. It's hard to make an argument that David Fincher isn't one of our favorite creators because, especially you, yeah. you were obsessed with Manhunter. Yeah. Which his sister was in Manhunter. And then Fight Club and Seven, like we both love Seven. And it just, yeah. it had that feeling, like this amazing crime thriller aspect to the whole movie. Yeah. We've talked about this a number of times, how much we love films that we need to like figure out what's going on. And I feel like he just does such an amazing job with like the twists and the turns and the characters being so like dimensional that you don't actually know what's real per yeah. se. And it's not like it's uh, this situation where, oh my God. God, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like it builds to this point where you can almost get to the spot where you're like, this is going to happen. But the reveal, it doesn't make it any less shocking. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you kind of could see the wheels turning when she decided like, I'm getting the fuck out of this lake house. Yeah. And you see step by step by step her preparing for that. But then you have the climax of the, you know, sex scene. And it's like, okay, I knew this was coming. But I didn't, uh, yeah, climax, I guess is a wrong <laughs> word, but like I could see that this is where we were going, but not that this is exactly where we were going. So it's this very amazing style of like having these crazy twists and turns in the story, but it not being like, wait, I don't get it. Why did we go in this direction? Yeah, I feel like her prep work really deserves the spotlight for a little bit too, because just the way that she set up like when she was going through exactly like what kind of happened and her stupid neighbor yeah and like all of that like that was just so wild like how much she put into it like you said during the film it calls back to when nick's in the detective's office and they're like what does she do all day yeah he's just like i don't know she I, reads I, she reads books well yeah guess what she was reading murder mysteries yeah and watching murder shows to yeah. plan this whole fucking event or like Oh, what about this neighbor? He's like, I've never fucking seen this person. Like all of these photos. And then, you know, for her to be like, well, I gotta make an alibi with this stupid fucking neighbor. And then the crime scene, because we were like, oh, like she made a mistake by cleaning it up. And it was like, oh no, she didn't. They needed to be like, why is this so perfect? Yeah, I said that in the moment. I was like, wait, no, don't fix that because that's not how it should be. But then I'm like, no, she wants it to not be. It's like when you cheat on a test, I've never done that. But it, when you cheat on a test and you like, I can't get a hundred out of a hundred. I need to get like a 94 out of a hundred yeah. because then it's believable. That's a terrible example because you don't want it to be believable. But anyways, I'm just saying that that was an amazing moment where she just clearly had this so methodically planned out to the point where it's like holy fuck they're just back together you could give 100 people like where do you think this is going to end like halfway through the movie and you're like someone's either dead or going to jail i don't know if anyone would be like yeah they're for sure just gonna get back together and just pretend to live happily ever after and that's just the end of the movie yeah and have a family and have a family like yeah just everything not even back to normal back to the fake normal that they fell in love with to begin with yeah crazy i loved it <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean this absolutely is top five movies for me this was spectacular i would watch it anytime it's on tv i'll probably watch this numerous times just to appreciate everything amazing about it yeah this is a multi watch through <laughs> type of movie so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to the link to our patreon is in the description if you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media all those links are in the description as well and with that Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.